If you're watching this video, it's probably because you're seeing the same error that I currently have highlighted on the screen. This error occurs when running the MySQL secure installation script on a Ubuntu server. And it happens when you get to the prompt where it asks you to set a password for root. You enter a password, you confirm it, and it tells you that it fails with the error set password has no significance for the root user. The reason this is occurring is because on Ubuntu servers running MySQL, the default authentication method for the root user is something called Unix socket. The way that this works is basically whatever user you're logged into your server as is what you will be authenticated with the MySQL service as. For example, I'm currently logged in as root. So if I were to interact with MySQL, it would authenticate me as the root user. And I don't have to enter any passwords to do that. So here's where the problem occurs. When the security script is running and it asks you to set a password for root, the system gets messed up because it's not expecting a password for root. That is not the type of authentication that it is configured to use. So now that we understand the problem, let's talk about how to fix it or more specifically how to work around it because we're not gonna actually fix the underlying problem within the security script. We just want to get it to a point where we can run the script and then go about our business. And step one to doing that is I'm going to open up a new terminal tab and reconnect to the server. And the reason I have to do that, as you've probably discovered, is once you get to this point where it's failing and asking for a password, there's no way out of the script. It's just going to keep asking for a password. There's no exit command. You're basically stuck in this loop. Uh, so we're going to start fresh with a new session. And what we want to do is we want to go into our MySQL settings and change our authentication protocol for the root user so that it is expecting a password that'll allow us to run that security script. And then when we're done, we're gonna revert it back to that Unix socket protocol. So to accomplish all that, let's go ahead and connect to our MySQL command prompt. Uh, we wanna make sure we connect as the root user. So I'm gonna start my command with sudo, and then I'm just gonna execute MySQL. All right, this brings me to my prompt. And then once here, I wanna run a alter command to alter the settings for my root MySQL user to use a password. Uh, the command for that's a little verbose, so I'm gonna hop over to the notes that I've got set up to accompany this video, go down to the section under solution. There's a command we can copy down here, alter user. I'm just gonna copy that. And with this command, we can see it's gonna alter our root user. It's gonna switch it over to password-based authentication. And this is the password that it's gonna be using. Uh, you could change this if you want, but remember, this is just a temporary setting. We're going to be reverting back to uh, Unix socket authentication when we're done. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and run it as is. And then with that change in place, I'm going to run the exit command to get out of the MySQL prompt. And back at my regular prompt, let's try to run that security script again. When it prompts you for your root password, enter whatever password you had as part of the alter user command. In my case, that was simply just password. Then it's gonna ask if you wanna set up the validate password component. This might be a good idea if you're working with say a team of developers and you wanna make sure everybody is using secure passwords. Uh, in this case, it's a demo server. So just in the interest of simplicity, I'm gonna say no. It's gonna ask if I wanna change the password for root. And again, I'm gonna say no. It's gonna ask if I wanna remove anonymous users that were set up as part of the installation and for testing purposes. Um, we do wanna clean that up. So I'm gonna say yes here. Now it's asking if I want to disallow root login remotely. This is going to make it so you can only connect as the root user when you're actually connected to the server itself. Uh, and for security purposes, this is a good idea. So I'm going to say yes. It's going to give us the option to remove a test database that was set up as part of the installation process. And just like the anonymous users, we do want to clean this up. So I'm going to say yes again. And as part of removing that test database, it also removed some privileges. So here it's asking if we want to reload our privileges table to make that change take effect. So I will once again say yes. And perfect. We were able to successfully complete the security script. So now let's go back and revert the changes we had made to the root user. So we want to re-enter the MySQL prompt. Uh, this time the command I'm going to be used for that is MySQL. And I'm going to indicate that I want to connect as the root user. And I want to include the password flag. Uh, because I do want it to ask me for a password because that is the authentication method we had switched to. Uh, so let's go ahead and connect. I'll enter the password I had set uh, previously with that alter user command, which in my case was simply just password. And then jump back to the nodes for one last command. We're going to again alter the root user, but we're going to switch away from the MySQL native password back to that Unix socket, or as it's referred to here, the auth socket protocol. 
And just to confirm that's working, let's exit out of the MySQL prompt, and then we'll re-enter the prompt using sudo MySQL. And perfect, we're back at the MySQL prompt, and we didn't have to enter any passwords to get there.